Welcome everybody. So I wrote up some talking points for today's uh, LSD meeting. So Mr. Luciano, you were the only person I wasn't able to send it to. What's your state ID? 1082. 1082. There you go. I sent it to you. So everybody grab out your phones and go into your documents app and go all the way down to the meeting uh, or the the uh, document to see the LSSD meeting talking points. And uh, we'll just start off with number one. <laughs> so we've got some fantastic news from the mayor. Uh, the mayor has approved our business proposal. And now we're just waiting on the state to approve it as well. But uh, we got the approval from the mayor. We That was kind of what we were scared about, whether or not he was going to approve it, because we thought he could, you know, maybe have some harsh feelings towards us for some odd reason but it seems like on that front we are good to go who knows how long it'll take for the state to approve us though <laughs> hell yeah nice good stuff yep so we're starting off this meeting strong with one of our you know some good news um let's go to the, let's start and head to the bad news the men the other mechanic shops undercutting mosley's and uh, as far as I can tell, it seems like we kind of have two uh, options on that front. You know, option number one is lowering our prices for Mosley's to uh, 750. I don't think we can go any lower than that, which means that uh, it yeah. seems like Lang will no longer be profiting the dollar per, and we'd be going back to uh, you profiting the 50 cents per. So kind of back to like the original deal. Later down the line in our next talking point, though, we have whoa, whoa, something whoa, to make whoa, up whoa, for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. We haven't done this yet, right? This is like a suggestion. suggestion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are just yeah, our yeah, options. Yeah, yeah. These are just like option oh, number one, option number two. Okay, gotcha. Continue. Okay. So, and then uh, it's very important that we don't, uh, or we keep paying our people the same amount because CG is also going around trying to poach our LSSD people. So... Mm. They want to pay our people $6 per to work for them, and we're paying $6.50. If we start paying any lower than $6.50, I wouldn't be surprised if some of our people just dipped and the, went to go work for CG. So, Yeah, that price is never going to lower. Yep. And then option yep. number two, we can kind of force these mechanic shops hand by fucking whacking them, getting your crew, our crew, uh, Mary's crew, I don't know, we could probably bring some other people in as well and kind of uh, forcing their hands into lowering or hiring repair costs and uh, buying materials for eight per. One is significantly more effort than the other. It really just depends how uh, how we kind of want to go about it. We can think about the pros and cons of both options. But before we come to some sort of agreement on that front, I do think I should bring up talking point number three, and then we can go back to talking point number two and come to the decisions. Talking point number three, we really need to diversify. The fact that the Mr. Lang was holding onto materials for multiple days and could not get in contact with Mosley's is not good. Now we have excess materials, which means we need a new contract. I have been in talks with the Lumber Co their new CEO, Wyatt. And uh, we have come to an agreement, not for sure, but because I needed to get board approval. <clears throat> but uh, he can do uh, eight per, and we can get a new contract going. That way, Mr. Lang, you'll still be profiting the dollar per. From that contract, anyway. Okay, okay. So with that thought in mind, um. What option seems best to you, Mr. Lang, for uh, the talking point number two? <laughs> I need water. Um, that was a lot I'm of talking. Not sure yet. Well, talking point number three, you mean, right? Well, so because you'd be... So I think the downside of talking point number two and the number one option of lowering our prices to 750 for Mosley's is the fact that you will no longer be profiting a dollar per material and you'll be profiting 50 cents instead. So now with the, if we do a contract with the Lumber Co for $8 per, you would still be profiting that dollar per as well. 
and it's lucrative and very we need a new contract with all these new mechanic shops there's going to be less volume for mosley's less people are going to be going to them which means less orders i don't think lowering prices is uh is, is, is even an option here right it, it actually is um it's just dependent on how much lang because he'd just be profiting 50 cents instead of a dollar and then right, we'd be right, still right. paying so our option. employees right. the same amount. Right, right now I, I do profit fifty, right? Like me, me and Luciano, we we split that dollar. Oh, you profit. split that dollar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, shit! I didn't one. even know that. Oh shit! I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. So mm. it's not. It's, it's a. It looks like a dollar profit, but then it's split between me and Lush because. Uh, oh you know, shit! You no, know, run shit on the back end. Nope. But but either way, I I think if we. If we start letting uh, people dictate our prices, like this is only the beginning. It's going to start with 750. Ne next two weeks, uh, they're going to want seven. Uh, next two weeks, they're, they're going to want 650. They're going to want six. And they're only going to keep negotiating down. Like, uh, to me, uh, we don't change our prices. Um, yeah. No matter to nobody. Now, obviously, if it comes to a point where. Damn. Uh, Which means we have to go with option number two. If it comes to a point where we. Let's just say, for example, right? Uh, today, some shit happened. We we're making no materials. But let's say tomorrow's the opposite. Thank you for we're the sub. Three X, four X, and we're shit material. Then yeah, we look and we assess. Listen, let's let's adjust prices. Uh, we're you know getting thousands more materials. We're not breaking a sweat doing it. Whatever. Oh my god, my dog. Uh, we adjust it on our terms. We don't do it because somebody's asking. I, I just think it's going to lead us down a slippery slope to the point where you know it's like you said, right? If we if we start buying from uh, people under you guys for cheaper. They're just going to quit. Yep, we can't do it at all. It's there's not an no option. There at that point, right? No. Nope. Uh, so I think the... We want to do the opposite. We, we still want to keep climbing higher, right? Uh, go $9, $10 eventually. Uh, as the, the economy is only mm -hmm. growing. Uh, think about it now, right? Like, uh, pe people don't think twice about paying uh, $7, $8 per material. Back then, people would shit their... You'd lose their minds if you told them it was $5 per. Uh, as the economy grows, people are just going to have more money just fucking sit in their accounts they want to fucking spend it on. That makes yeah, I think sense. the inflation's gonna hit, but I think in the the inflation will in hit the soon. immediate, like right now. To be honest, the the main issue that's even brought this price up, it's really these two shops, this Milton's Mods and this Carnage. And then because there's this Gearhead like, one as well, but I don't know what their now, prices Gearhead's are. Gearhead has been they've been open for two months. Oh, okay. It's very small. Okay. You know, in Toledo, so they're not a concern. But the Carnage and the Milton, these are two MCs that are. Uh, cooperating with each other to have the same pricing to specifically fuck most. Yeah, they, they, they don't make, like mostly. If you look at the business plan, they literally they specifically yeah, I mention would go Mosley's. to that link. So yep. it's them too. They are Those out of spite shops. targeting Mosley's. So yep. like yes. Well. Yeah, oh, yeah, and there's a lot Correct. of information in there that you can know what prices are selling at. Those uh, two mechanic shops came to together and decided on prices to f undercut Mosley's on purpose. Now that's interesting. The fact that there's actual beef between them, uh, yeah, is even more telling because now we know they're definitely won't even negotiate or renegotiate. Or exactly. Even exactly. Yeah. Of, uh, good business, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. There's no negotiating it's all in bad faith. unless you go force their hand, which is why I said uh, had option two on there. It's kind of like the only option that we kind of have if we don't lower the price for Mosley's, and. The thing is, that could be a temporary solution, but I, I do think, yeah, we do need to stay strong as well. I do kind of feel bad for them, though, but it's business. Uh, I feel bad for who exactly? Mosley, to be honest, because out of nowhere, these two mechanic shops came together, were like, fuck Mosley's, and started undercutting them like fucking crazy. It's insanity. Yeah, but that, that's just business, right? Yeah, that's it is. Like they have to deal with. Like, we've had to deal with Tatar, we've had to deal with Dragon, we've had to deal with Chang Gang. Like, we still have to deal with half these people. Yeah. This is a part of the business, right? Like, they, they just need to operate uh, smart. Uh, the, the thing is, as well, me and Luciano, we went and we uh, got a repair, I think it was at Carnage. Yeah, yeah, it was kind yeah, of up in kind harmony. Of, we kind of, uh, yeah, we kind of, you know, went there. We were nice and pulled some info. And he buys materials at, at seven fifty eight dollars per. Yep. So like they're buying virtually same price as we are, but charging cheaper and still turning a profit. 
It's not much. Their margins though. are not, way not smaller. Much I've talked profit. to them. I had a conversation with them about their margins. That's how I got their business proposal. They actually wanted to do a contract, and I just snaked a lot of info out of them. They gave me so much. They gave me their whole goddamn business proposal, and uh, yeah, they told me their profit margins. They're making maybe about thirty thousand dollars a week, which like really isn't much in the whole grand scheme of things. Yeah, pro at the end of the day, like profit is profit, and. People are just going to be happy with what... Crew Card, thank you so much for resubscribing for three uh, months. Profit makes them happy, right? So uh, even like for me, right? When, when I tell people, listen, I'm, you know, I, I can't sell this for, you know, 50 cents. Oh, God, like, my dog. Money. They're like, oh, why the fuck are you only doing this for, for profit 50, 50 cents? Oh, it's just profit for me. I, I don't give a shit. Profit is profit. Um, Mosley's has to play that game where, yeah, they could sell for more and make more of a profit, but... It's not like these guys are losing money. They're also profiting. So it's it, it and then you add the whole vendetta or whatever beef they have. Um it's on Mary to kind of figure this out. Just as we had to figure out how to make it work with Batar and Dragon and all the, these other crews, like they have to do the same, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think the only concern with that is if Mary just decides to wake up one day and she just says, You know what? Fuck this, I'm just out of this business. I doubt she will. I mean, listen. Um, I doubt she will, too. You can't believe, like, everything you hear, right? You also have to kind of look at the facts, okay? Mary, very successful businesswoman. They own a multitude of fucking houses in Mere Park. Own very fancy fucking nice-ass yeah. cars. You know, these people make money. Uh, they, they aren't broke. And, uh, you know, they can complain as much as they want, but they still do this for... The reason that they probably still turn a really good fucking profit. So you just can't believe everything uh, they say because they're always going to want the better end of the deal. It's just kind of how business goes. It's the same game that we play. Do we know their exact profit margins? Uh, I have no idea. That's why I said we should do all the math on what each part costs for when it's crafted. Because we have all the blueprints. We can do all the number crunching to see... Yeah what it actually is at cost, and then whatever they're charging on top. We could figure all that out. Yeah, we can also, do the that and then thing, come to a decision. The other thing with these smaller shops that I've noticed is that they don't have the supply to stay open as long as most of these anyway. So yeah. it's not even like like this Milton's hours, mods. I think half these mechanic shops will shut down. They, yeah, they, they open for like four hours. And they always done. do. Yeah, Because they run out of parts every day. One of, these, one of these repair shops earned fucking Polito. Okay, uh, they probably get two customers, uh, every six hours. That's true. Especially they're gonna be like, "Fuck this shit, I'm done." You know, like the benefit of Mosley's is everybody just kind of goes to Mosley's. Yeah, uh, it's right in the center. Tell us like the opposite of business is bad, but I'm telling you, whenever I go down to Mosley's, there's people there. Uh, I know there's like other mechanics that kind of work there that don't work for Mosley's, but again, that's on them to kind of handle. That's, that's not our concern at all. You know. Plus, I see her people there pretty consistently every day. Anyway. A golden yeah. cap train, Jaxi Ball. Thank you so much for resubscribing for two months. Lower, yeah. uh, no matter what they say, and and if they threaten to uh, go, I guess now is the time fire, to get your you know, exclusive cap emote for twenty four hours, guys. If you keep the hype train going, we can always find a different deal somewhere else that's just as consistent. It might be harder, or it might take time to find it, but you know we can always pivot and, and, and make something work. Exactly, and that's why I have been in talks with Wyatt, they're the Lumber Co's new CEO. He and I have a very close relationship, he's a good friend of mine. Um, and that is why we can either do it an exclusive, exclusive contract where they only buy materials from us, or he said he always wants to come to us first no matter what, and if he needs to buy elsewhere then he will, if like none of us are around or if we don't have materials, but now we're going to be the first people they go to. And even if we have higher prices than other people, which we don't, because a lot of people are selling for nine and 10. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Nobody's selling cheaper. They're either selling exactly what we're selling at or more. Crew card, thank you so much for gifting out five subs to the community. Change. Guys, can we get some hearts change. in the chat? Yeah, yeah. We're going to sell cheaper, uh, Chang Yang. We love you guys. And then as soon as they leave, they're going to go sell for the normal prices. They just don't want to be bothered, you know? Yeah. At the end of the day, the only thing CG can offer is protection from themselves. Right. And that's not even guaranteed. Because they could have mm -hmm. one of their random fuckers that's not even part of the core group or whatever. And they don't know who the fuck you are, and they'll still rob your shit. So. 
Exactly. And it's not even intimidating. It's not even intimidating because they've stopped robbing like they were before with the chain robberies back to back to back for like an hour straight. We haven't lost any materials in like, I don't know, it's been weeks really. So. I'm sure they could start it up again, but I think those guys just get so distracted by all the other people can, they can rob as well. I mean, based on the threat that they were making, it could have just been a threat. I don't know if they'll actually do it, but I mean, talking about like hunting people just if they say no, just for purely existing. Seems like, like a lot I, of effort. I could definitely see some of the lower employees, uh, you know, flipping just because, just out of fear. Hi, Chris. Hi, Frosty. Uh, they won't. I'm How much worse won't. can it get? Like, it can't yeah. get worse than what it's already been. Exactly. Yeah, what, I agree. What are they going to do different? They've already been doing this for weeks. Like, what what can they do different? They're going to do nothing. And uh, I'll tell you guys right now, they're gonna they're gonna not going to give a shit in a, in a week. They probably don't give a shit already. I, I thought they followed up yeah. on any of this. You know what I mean? They probably Listen, already moved on. One of the guys at my team got ocean dumped five times in the same <laughs> week. Probably, and he still works every day. So, exactly. yeah. Amen. 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 One with yeah. the trash, I'll hail the holy trash. He's a true trash, believer. <laughs> also, we didn't even mention this. This electricity shit. The demand is going to go up. At least for the circuit boards again. Yeah, well, Somebody's I mean, going to need for this electric shit. Like hypotheticals, like materials are always going to go on demand at some point. I mean, yeah. you, you never know when the next guy is going to want to make a, a, a new gun or, you know, solar panels or it's just random shit. You know what I mean? There's always going to be a need for material. Who knows our next, uh, I mean, it's just a hypothetical, like you said. Who knows the, the next the business we could be seeing open up is some sort of electrician company who could be our next contract. You never know, you know? But, uh, yeah, how, how are you guys uh, feeling about the contract with the Lumber Co? I think we should go with it. I don't see any downsides, to be honest, especially because we all have excess materials. We all, I believe you guys have a good relationship with them, just like I do. Um... How much did they say they buy at? So I mean, I already sold to Jack. So uh, like, I've already yeah. been selling to Jack whatever access we do have. It's just like guaranteeing. You know how with Mosley's we kind of guarantee them that we can fulfill all their orders. It's basically like that. And when we can't, the, then they'll go get materials from elsewhere. They're, we're basically gonna be their first stop. Yeah, I mean, I'm down. I'm down, hundred percent. Perfect. Well, if uh, if we're in agreement with that, then I, I'll have a conversation with Wyatt later and. Uh, I'll talk to a lawyer too. I mean, I we can do word of mouth, but I feel like if we're going to get a business proposal and start it officially and whatnot, I think we should be getting these agreements and co contracts with lawyers soon. That's what I was going to ask you. You don't actually uh, yeah. have a, a, a written agreement with anybody, right? No, no, this we don't. Uh, we do with Moses. We do, yeah. We do? Okay, there's an actual contract with them? Yeah, yeah, there is. Okay, okay. Making sure What's in the contract, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, fuck, I mean, let me bring it up. I mean, we, I'm very we, curious. I did this with Mosley's, like, I don't know, week one in the city. Damn. Uh, it's just pretty much Lang will get a cut. He'll get a dollar uh, cut. It's the right of first refusal or 50 cent cut made, entered into the date blah blah blah, blah Lang Buddha representing blah 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 it's the same deal uh, we have with Mosley's representing blah blah blah, blah, blah. Uh, it essentially entails that uh, they buy from us and only us we sell to them and only them but if they can't uh, or, or if they deny like whatever access we have to sell uh, we can go and sell to others okay oh. I like that Mind that? Can you send that to me, and uh, then I'll write up something similar for the uh, the uh, lumber co contract, and then also, I don't know. I, I think now that we're so set on, a, I mean, I guess it just depends on inflation. We can say as of right now, the set price is eight dollars per, and if we come to any, we can have conversations later, yada yada, and decide on new prices uh later on if needed but if uh they stop buying at eight per let's say if somehow prices go down which they shouldn't because i mean if anything we're gonna see inflation then maybe i don't know what well, i have to figure something out i would love if it if you could send me that contract that way i could just go get another one written up with a lawyer what lawyer did you go through do we have a lawyer uh i use whatever lawyer they had i think it was james hayes or some shit Okay, I'll just uh, I'll just hit up Damian Tinkerman. 
Yeah, I mean, hit up a, any lawyer works. I mean, it's just a simple contract, really. Perfect. Just make it so. Uh, just make sure you read it. Yeah. Yeah, just make sure you read it, and just make sure it's uh, it just an outlines that they buy from us. Frosty, us. thank it's you so much for giving out two islands. subs to the community. To sell, we can go to others. Perfect. All righty, and that leads us to uh, talking point number four. Material prices, pay raises, plus the mayor. So apparently uh, the mayor has been able to determine how much materials we get out of our compatulators and uh, the recyclers. Not fully confirmed. Clear. We don't actually know oh, for yeah. sure. So we got to confirm it. We got to confirm it. Uh, so that's on my agenda for today. And also because if he has so much control over the material market, I just feel like it's not stable right now. I think us sanitation workers deserve to be paid more per promotion that we have at the sanitation yard like these other jobs do. If we can't rely on material prices to stay consistent, then we need more job security. So I'm gonna also discuss uh, getting us better pay depending on better promote, like whatever uh, your uh, title is with Leo at the sanitation yard. Yeah, How like many uh, gold stars job, you have? Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it's decided. ridiculous. Yeah, I think I think uh, I think the first thing we gotta do is just confirm that uh, the mayor can actually do this. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean that kind of changes everything. If I'm gonna blow his phone up so much, like it's call him once an hour at least. Yeah, I mean that's it, how I got a hold of him last time. Do this, <laughs> it it kind of changes a lot, so it, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. No. Yeah. So that is everything on our agenda today. How are we all feeling about it? <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel pretty good. To be honest, I like what Lang said, where the stuff with the two other shops that are causing issues for mostly, that is really, that's not our problem, to be honest. Like, that's it can't true. affect us if mostly won't buy Oof. from us. But it seems like it's something the Mary should handle first. Yeah, it's 100% their problem. Like, we're just, it's their industry, you know, we just provide yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, yeah, we didn't step in with, like, the popular and all that shit. Now, now yeah. if she needs our help to step in, I mean, obviously we can't help, but it's first on them to handle, you know? Is yeah, that what we're going to tell them? they can make the first contact. Uh, I mean, when you set some expectations like that, people probably not do the full effort on it. I'd say just keep that to ourselves just, for the just, time just, being. Just let me deal with Mary, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now it's, it's always been uh, dealt with. You know, I talk to her, she talks to me, and we just keep it that way, you know? Sounds good. Yeah. Alrighty, I think uh, I think that's every, all of our problems kind of dealt with. Um, White also said that he'd get me concrete numbers on how many materials he needs, like, per day at the end of, or maybe sometime next week, he's just crunching down the numbers, so soon we'll have consistent orders of like the same order almost every day Hell that yeah. way uh, it'll just be consistent money flowing into uh the bank account so all right Good so time. i'll keep updating you on that as soon as i get that information all right hell yeah perfect well good meeting boys it was good to see you mr lang mr luciano sorry that i was yeah, gone the last week on, before no you're good uh let's just try to keep this uh let's try to have a meeting like once a week yeah, and, yeah. Uh, uh, and I think this mayor, uh, his term comes to an end soon. So I'm hoping with the next mayor, like, uh, they actually put an effort to allowing us to actually run a business and it means something. So it kind of seems like things are kind of trending a bit that way right now. So we'll see. Perfect. And I do think the main days, like, when all of our people can make it are Saturdays. So if we want to make Saturdays our main meeting day, that would be perfect. Because, like, Jason. Uh, yeah, Monday to Saturday, I'm around. So. Yeah, Jason couldn't be around, but Jason can be around earlier on Saturdays, and it's very good to have her at meetings because she's the CFO, the numbers person, so. All right. I mean, yeah, if we want to move it forward, we want to start doing Saturdays, that's that's cool with me. So, yeah. Well, bye -bye. Perfect. Yep, yep. Yep. Perfect. All right. Hell yeah, guys. Good shit. Good meeting. Good meeting. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks.